chains in order to deliver the necessary PPE and other medical equipment to the states. Speaker Pelosi and House Democrats are currently promoting a $3 trillion liberal witch list among a litany of Democrat priorities immaterial to the coronavirus crisis are embedded in this, and one would require the president to appoint a, quote, medical supplies response coordinator who would, quote, serve as the point of contact for the health care system, supply chain officials, and the states on medical supplies. I'm happy to report this individual already exists. This bill ignores reality because the medical supplies official is in existence. He's been working on this since March to deliver uh, to date over billions and billion, more than one billion, I should say, pieces of PPE to countries and hospitals across the country. Since March 29th, Rear Admiral John Plovchek, Vice Director for Logistics for the Joint Chiefs, has been on the job as the head of FEMA's Supply Chain Stabilization Task Task Force. This is a historic partnership with the private sector, and under the leadership of President Trump, FEMA directed the greatest mobilization of the private sector since World War II. Rear Admiral Polovchek and FEMA quickly realized the power of the private sector in addressing the coronavirus, recognizing that the six largest private sector medical distributors would have the ability to source, procure, manufacture, and deliver as many as one billion pieces of PPE in a single week. That is ex extraordinary volume by our private sector. And at the direction of President Trump, Rear, Rear Admiral Plovchek and FEMA were able to harness this power. Every day at 9 a.m., Rear Admiral Plovchek's team huddles with the six large private sector medical distributors, and together they review data compiled by Dr. Burks as well as information provided by the CDC to set priorities and ensure sufficient levels of supplies go down not just to the county level but to the hospital level. After